So in this module, we will look at how you organize your website. How do you place your information, your data, your links to your search and to the databases and all of this. Now you have spent a lot of time designing your wonderful website, placing all the data and you know all your way around your website. But you will be shocked to know, as I have uh, mentioned probably before also, that the people who visit your website, they might be interested into a very small part of the entire content, maybe a page or two pages, maybe a paragraph on a page. So how do you make that navigation fruitful for them? And maybe then you discover that, no, uh, your, the structure of your website should have been not like this, but like this. But changing a website once it has been developed is very difficult and prone to errors and time consuming. So in this module, we will look at some of the structures, how you structure your website. Okay. Now these structures are as per the latest trends. Of course, after a couple of years, maybe five years, the trend might change. Then we have those uh, wonderful uh, structures from uh, content management systems. I would not like to market them, any of them, but they also provide wonderful website structures also. You might consider looking at them also. But the point over here is that you should do all of this before you create your wonderful web-based database application website. That is the point. So we look at some of the, of the classical structures, which are the unified structure. Okay, we, we have repeating certain things and then we have the distributed site uh, which you will see that the, there is some leverage and then of course fragmented sites and then it is your choice what you want to do. You want to do as a company what you want to do as an individual. So let's look at first of all at a unified website. Okay, so in a unified website you can see over here that we have this thing repeating over here so if i look at articles and abstracts over here okay then this is again repeating so you we have these repeating things over here so that is why it is called as the unified website so classical definition has its entire structure visible on every page from every page you can go to every section or subtitle so this is visible everywhere everywhere if you click on the events button, you go to the corresponding page. That page is also actually two HTML pages. And this is, these are basically two pages. This is page one and this is page two over here basically. There are two HTML pages. At first glance, a unified site might appear to be the ultimate inside design until you start to think about the mechanics of designing, designing it and implementing it. Designing and implementing it. A unified design works best when the number of navigation buttons is small. This is small, it is less than 10, okay, less than 10. Otherwise, it becomes too complex and too complicated. So I think this should be clear now. Now let's look at a distributed website. In a distributed website, you can see over here that we have this over, this is different. This is different over here, but this mid Hudson library system, these are the same over here. These are same. A distributed site keeps certain design and navigation elements constant across all pages. Some things come, but it takes liberties within them. Some things are constant. There are other changes over there. Okay. And the most common being to use the navigation tools to apply to each subsite rather than to the site as a whole. So this is a subsite. Okay. And subsite it has some of its own navigation buttons. This site does not use frames, but is similar to the page shown in the last slide. There are no frames. Previously, we have no, there are no frames. There are no frames. If you click on the online catalog link, link under the for the public online catalog for the over here. Okay. Then what happens? You can go to the corresponding page, which lets you choose from a variety of sources. That is there. A site such as this allows each of its subsites to set its own design, own design over here okay maybe for over here own design and navigation rules can be considered a distributed rather than a unified this avoids many problems with the unified site changes to the layout of the site affect navigation tools only within and of course you are using this area over here this space is not used space not used but with this approach of designing a distributed site 
we see that this approach is used. We are using the space. Now looks at the fragmented website. So in the fragmented website, you can see the differences are very varied over here. So what you see over here, the rules for this is subsite. The rule for subsite can vary, be very loose. They can copy the general style. General style is there. Okay. General style is there. And navigation rules, okay, or the sub site pages can be totally delinked to the main site. Delinked to the main site, delinked, okay. No going back, okay. As shown in the slide, the page that appears, if you click the calendar link, the page at the left hand side of the last slide, all right. And you would not know that this page is part of the same site because of all these reasons. So now the thing is that which is the good choice? Which one is the good one? It is your choice. Difficult to decide the overall structure, maybe it because of the company policy, maybe because of the choices of the individuals. And the thing is the unified structure is very, very unweb like, very un, because web is open, total freedom. People and companies can have their own structures, their own ideas, their own designs uh, implemented, incarnated in their websites, in their web pages. So unified is opposing that, okay? And of course, uh, you are. It's it's very impossible. It's impossible to implement, to modify dynamically generated pages and follow a predetermined template for dynamic pages. Very difficult, if not impossible. So you have to take into consideration all of those things, all of these points, before you actually present that wonderful web-based database applications before your visitors. That is all for this module. Thank you very much.